The biggest strength of the OnePlus power bank is its design and build quality. OnePlus was very clever to design the power bank keeping in mind its phones, the OnePlus One. So you have a sandstone black version and then a white version to go with the phone back. So, um, you know, so that it kind of matches uh, the design, the style of your OnePlus One phone. But does the OnePlus power bank actually performs? Let's check out. Before that, let's check out what's in the box roughly. So I get this white box, you see this OnePlus logo there and that's a 10,000 mAh power bank. We'll quickly go ahead and open the box. There's some uh, marketing information and such. Red accent, nicely styled box as well. First impression is good. And we have the sandstone version that will go with your 64 GB version of OnePlus One that has a sandstone back. We'll come back to the design later. You have a quick start guide here. And then when you take this thing off, you'll get the micro USB charger. So nothing much, no fuss. So that's the OnePlus power bank. You can see we have the sandstone black version and it's definitely one of the most beautiful power bank. Now we never knew the power bank could be this stylish because generally we've seen the manufacturers do not give much attention to detail of the power banks. But that's just an accessory, right? Just goes with your phone, comes out sometimes whenever um, really your phones nowadays dies down. But this one's definitely a looker. So taking a close look at the hardware here is definitely made of metal and then as I told you the sandstone black feels absolutely gorgeous you have the oneplus logo out there and then two USB port to charge uh, two devices together so both give out you know 5 volt output or 10 watt output but if you charge two devices um, in a simultaneously it will only give 5 watt and 5 watt and then a micro USB port uh, to charge the power bank and you also have this nice silver accent that gives the power bank a very premium look and feel and here you have the indicator light and to check how much charge is left you can just check it twice oh yeah there you see and it shows about half so two and half or you can just tap it so that's again convenient the less switches the better uh, at 222 grams it's definitely not the lightest but it feels great in hand and it almost as tall as the phone itself so whenever you keep the phone here let's say you're charging uh, the phone and at the same time you're moving somewhere so you can just um, you know, keep the connect the phone and whenever you're keeping the phone out here it does not look odd it will you know it'll be easier to hold because the power bank is almost as tall as the phone but it's one of the thinnest ones actually so great design and build quality now the performance of the oneplus power bank it's rated at 10,000 mh let's see how much it actually gives but before there are some other metrics as well first of all the weight 222 grams i have no problems with it number one number two it gets charged itself uh, in about five hours 50 minutes and the spec sheet says it will uh, charge uh, itself in about six hours so again uh, it's doing good in terms of that as well now uh, i charge my galaxy tab s 10.5 uh, with this one this guy has a 7900 mh battery and we charge the power bank with the samsung 2 ampere charger so with the 2 ampere charger this guy has got fully charged from zero in about five hours 50 minutes now why do we do it charge the tablet and not a phone now what happens let's say you have a phone with a 3000 mAh battery this guy will charge it for 3000 or it will fully charge the phone but then you need to again charge down the phone or drain the battery to up to uh, you know zero percent even if you use an app which we do not recommend or if you continuously use the phone you will at least need over one hour one to one and a half hour to actually drain that particular um, you know battery to zero percent we need to keep the same machine to test that remember then only um, the testing will be successful so during those one hour one and a half hours this battery will again leak current so it won't give you um, you know the exact measure of what this guy is actually giving because it's leaking there then again you charge 
the phone and even the second time again you'll drain the battery of the phone uh, that's again it's gonna take one and a half hours it'll again leak battery so that's why we took a big enough battery 7900 mAh battery now the most important question is how much this guy gave it charged 88 percent of the 7900 mAh battery of my Galaxy Tab S 10.5 88 percent of 7900 mAh is roughly about 7000 mAh so does that mean that the 10,000 mAh battery here is giving 7000 mAh battery well roughly yes in real world so that means it's giving about 70 percent of what the actual uh, battery capacity is that i would say well it's not the best but it's not the worst as well it's kind of somewhere in the bitten uh, the damn good very good battery will give you roughly between 80 to 85 percent even 85 percent uh, i mean if you get an 85 percent out of a power bank that's like amazing and 70 percent it's somewhere in the average it charged that 88% of the 7900 mAh battery roughly in about 4 hours 36 minutes. Now that I would say is a pretty good rate of charging a battery. So 222 grams first of all not very weighty or not very heavy. Uh, 5 hours 50 minutes to charge itself with a 2 ampere battery again very good. Uh, 7000 mAh uh, actually what the capacity is in our test now remember um, the environmental conditions your testing device and everything impact hugely on how much it will actually give out you know uh, one plus uh, promises about 80 percent or you know, roughly over 80 percent so that will depend on where you're staying even this is summer here summer you get a little less output then let's say in winter so those kind of stuff but still roughly 7000 mAh which I would say is average not below average but it's not uh, catastrophically well as well uh, and it also charged that 700 mAh battery got totally exhausted in 4 hours 36 minutes which I would say is a pretty decent rate so now then should you get the one plus one power bank if you're a OnePlus owner, this will really make great sense because the power output of 7000 mAh is not bad for a OnePlus One. The OnePlus One has a 3100 mAh battery, so you'll get more than you'll get to charge your phone more than twice, and that should be enough for even the longest of let's say train journeys. So uh, for you, it should be um, good enough, and it also goes beautifully with your phone design. That's another great point. It's a thin and a big enough uh, power bank so that uh, you can hold your phone and the power bank together whenever your phone is charging and you're moving. That's another very, very important thing to make note of. If your power bank is too small, that kind of becomes, um, you know, quite uncomfortable. Uh, 7000 mAh battery, just about average. Probably you could have liked it to be about 80% about, you know, 8000 mAh battery, but that's how it is. So, um, I would say if you're looking for a power bank uh, for other phones or you're not particular about the branding OnePlus and all, then there could be other better power banks, more powerful power banks. Um, we're going to do a dedicated video of comparing at least five or six power banks. So, you can check out that video to see which power bank gave you maximum uh, power. But for OnePlus One owner, this definitely makes sense. And even if you do not have a OnePlus One owner, but if you have a decent battery, let's say my Note 4 or my Note Edge has a 3000 mAh battery, 3100, 3200 mAh battery. Even that phone can be charged more than twice with this one. It's good enough and it's beautiful. It's probably the most beautiful power bank in the world. If you like this video, please hit the like button, ask anything related to this power bank and we'll try to answer them all. And please subscribe to our channel and share this video to share the love. Ciao.